Right, so we're here at the Robert Rock Golf Academy. Yes. And here Welcome. I am with, uh, can I call you Bob? No. Rock and Roller? <laughs> no, no, no. no Bobby Pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> we hear you're a bit of a golf geek. Is it true that you've got a garage full of old golf books and memorabilia? Well, I, I used to have it all in the garage, but it's now sort of scattered around different places. But the bulk of the stuff that I've collected is here at the Academy. Is that why you play? So one day they'll write a book about you? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I'm not... Because I've always looked after my own golf myself, you try and read up as much as you can about it. When I was younger, I used to buy every golf magazine that was going. I probably had every edition from all of the major magazines. I had a massive big pile of them. I thought, I've got to get rid of these. I think my mum and dad actually binned all of them. But I bought all the books that were going at the same time and I've kept those. I've not got, not got thousands, but I've got, I think I've got every decent golf book that's ever been written. Um, some old Ben Hogan and Sam Snead books, which are really cool. Is there anyone swinging you cast an envious eye on? Not these days, no. Um, I used to, but uh, I'm quite happy with what I'm doing now. So have you chucked everything out of your freezer since the horse meat scandal? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, probably have actually. You want to be pretty convinced with what you're buying now, so... so... What's the most relieved you've ever been? My driving test was probably the worst I've ever felt. I thought that would get eclipsed by something, but it really always keeps reminding me of how nervous I was when I did it. It took me four goes to pass my driving test. Um, Pretty, pretty poor at that. What's on your MP3 device that we don't really call an iPod? <laughs> oh, a mixture of all. I'm probably a little bit old school with all my music tastes. Um, I like a lot of old rap. I put in excess on there the other day, which has been pretty cool. Caramel or chocolate Rocky bars? <laughs> is that one you ask everyone, or is that just that's, that's just me, isn't it? Caramel. You stared down Tiger in Dubai. What was that like? It got easier as the day went on, and he was a, a good guy to play with. So, but the thought of doing it overnight and and that morning was pretty intense. So it's quite daunting because you know how many people have tried to to play with him and and really just crumbled. Um, and I was fully expecting that 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 could be one of the outcomes. So, if you could trade in golf for another career in sport, what would it be? Football just seems to pay a lot better and it seems to be a bit easier. People are thinking about Ryder Cup stuff around now. You've got one eye on Glen Eagles? Yes, I have. Um, I was really pleased for Paul McGinley that he got the job. Um, and I've played under him twice now in the Seve Trophy. So I would love to be part of his team. But I've got a lot of work to do for that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 